Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishan I hope you all are doing well. So in this new video, I'll be introducing a new series or segment in my channel. And the name of the segment is Question of the Week. So as you all know, many subscribers or many aspirants is to ask me a lot of questions. And a few of the questions I have seen that that needs a detailed discussion. Because few of the questions I have seen that many students are asking. So that's why I feel that if I make a short video, Responding that particular question that will be helpful for all the aspect. So in this series of uh, videos or in this segment of videos, I I'll, I'll be picking up one question each week, and every week I'll be talking about that particular question that I have picked in detail so that it will be helpful for all the students or all the aspirants who has a similar question. Now let's get into the question of this week. Uh, so this question is asked by Sonal Kumar that sir, if I get on campus package of ten LPA. Or 10 lakhs per annum, then whether I should do MTech or not. So this is a very interesting question. This is one of my favorite questions because I know many of the aspirants has this question that if he or she is getting a good package like 10 lakhs per annum package or 15 lakhs per annum package from his or her BTech placement only, whether he or she should pursue MTech or not. Now this particular question has two answers. Firstly, if your only goal is to secure a high package job after MTech and that's why you want to join MTech at IIT and ISC. So that at the end of your MTech program in IITs and ISC, you will be having a huge package in some company. Then I would suggest to you that you need not to join MTech because for MTech you have to prepare for GATE for at least one year. And then again two years you have to spend in IITs and ISC during your MTech curriculum. So if you join the job that you are getting from your BTEC and spend three years in that particular company, then whatever experience you will be gaining from that company, that will help you to you know, secure even better package what you will be getting from MTech. Because if you if you spend in a company for three years and your starting salary is 10 lakhs per annum, then after three years, most likely you'll be getting 20 or 25 plus LPA uh, because of your, you know, work experience of three years working in a company. On the other hand, if you, you know, prepare for get ha very hard and then you secure in IITs and ISC and then spend two years there, then also on average you'll be getting 15 to 18, 18 lakhs per annum package. So that's why if your goal is to just secure a high package job and you you, you just want to join MTech in IIT and ISC for that, I would suggest to you that if you are getting a high good package job like 10 LP or 15 LP after BTech, go for the job, spend in that particular company for three years, learn the skills what is needed and then switch it uh, and switch to another company, you'll be getting a better package. On the other hand, if you consider MTech from IITs and ISC as a value addition in your life, both professionally and personally, then only you should consider pursuing MTech from IITs and ISC. Uh, because personally, I feel that MTech from IITs and ISC is not just a high package job scope or opportunity. The learning that you'll be gaining from IITs and ISC during your two-year MTech curriculum is an invaluable asset for you for your entire life. Firstly, you will be learning from those world-class researcher or professor who is to teach in these IITs and ISC. So all of these professors, they are internationally renowned for their contribution of doing research in their respective fields. And they will teach you those courses from their domain of research. So it's a great opportunity for you to learn those subjects from these uh, professors because they are kind of the experts in that field and they know every details about uh, different, different concepts that is related to that field. So that's why it's a great opportunity for you to learn directly from those uh, renowned professors or renowned researchers. Secondly, IITs and ISC will provide you a very competitive environment where, you know, all the peer students, they will compete with each other. And all these students, they are kind of gate toppers and they have been maybe toppers in their respective undergraduate or BTEC colleges. So once you compete with all of these students, actually your skill set will be enhanced. You'll be a better person technically. Uh, you'll be a better skilled person and that will obviously help you during your professional life in different companies. Next is during MTech, you will be specialized for a particular skill set. So till BTEC, you are not specialized in any skill set. You have a kind of generic, you know, idea about all the subjects. But during MTech, you, you have to choose one particular area where you will be doing your final year project. And in that area, you will be specialized because you will be dedicated, dedicating one year for that particular uh, area. And you'll be solving a, a research problem on that area. So after MTech, you are kind of a specialized on a particular area and based on that in the in the placement also will be given a role uh, in, in, in any company where uh, you also will be working in that area. Like suppose you have done your final year project in machine learning, then most likely you will be getting a data science role in any product based company 
and and after completing mtech also will be working in that data science company so that your experience of working in machine learning for last one year company can utilize it so specialized in a specific skill set that uh, added bonus that you will be getting from your mtech tenure in iit and iis and finally if you are interested you can get a flavor of research also during your mtech days uh, in these premier institutions of our country so as you know uh, during mtech the final year you have to do a research project under supervision of these uh, you know professors or researchers in iit and iisc and most likely it will be a research question that you need to solve so you have to solve that question end to end during your mtech thesis for the final year and that will give you a flavor of research or maybe you know if you if you find it really interesting that in this process of research maybe in future you can decide for going to phd also so that that option also will be open because mtech will give you a rough idea about how a research or work or research project look like how to solve a research problem end to end publish a paper and many things related to that all of these things you will be actually gaining from your mtech in different iit and isc and personally i feel placement is just a add on with all of this learning so placement session that actually happen within couple of weeks i mean within couple of weeks around this october uh, it happened in isc and in the de december 1st or second week it happened in different iit and isc and within couple of weeks you will be placed in some company and based on your performance if you apply for suppose four or five companies might be you might be selected for two or three so you know placement is just a part of your mtech curriculum and from mtech actually there is a lot to offer by this iit and isc in your life and all of those things what i have discussed in this video that is actually the learning that you'll be gaining from iit and isc and frankly speaking mtech from iit and isc is a lifetime achievement for you that you will cherish for your whole life so that's why i'm again repeating that if, if your only goal is to secure a high package job i don't think mtech won't will help much because you have to prepare for the gate and then you have to spend 2 years there so if you are not interested of this learning part of it and if you are just uh, aiming for a high package job don't go for it take the job that you are getting do work in that company for 3 years and with that experience you will be get, gaining a better job uh, after 3 years than doing a uh, mtech from iit and isc but if you are interested of all of these other benefits that you'll be getting from uh i am tech from uh, from iit or isc which will be a value addition in your life then i will recommend you that go for uh pursuing a tech from different iits and isc okay, so that's it about this first video from this new segment called question of the week and if you have any question let me know in the comment section or even connect me in the linkedin or instagram the link is there in the uh, channel description so you can refer to that and i try to answer the question immediately uh, whenever whenever you ask me but if from now i find that particular question is really interesting so i'll pick it up uh, in every week and try to make a video in this playlist or in this series of videos so that it will be helpful for all the aspirants or students who has a similar kind of question in future so yeah that's it about this video so if you like this video please hit a like and share this video to many other people And if you're new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when I upload a new video, you will get instant notification. That's it about this video. I'll be meeting you in the next video. Until then.